ever wondered how people get those really cool old Facebook banners? I'm going to show you today how to do it easily with a free program and in under 10 minutes. Let's go to the computer. Okay guys, the program I use is called Canva. You go to canva.com. They have a free version so you can just sign up with your email address and then you're in. There is also a premium version that you could upgrade if you felt like you wanted to use that later, but I'm gonna show you how to use the free program today. So what the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up to the search bar right here and you wanna click, oh, I'm sorry, you wanna type in Facebook cover. Facebook cover is what they actually call it. Once I click this, it will give me a bunch of pre-made templates that I could go through and you could either click one that you already like that's already completed and maybe just edit the words or you can just get a template, something that you want to start with and then you edit it from there. There's also another option which I kind of like the best is create a blank Facebook cover and then you can start from scratch. Now this might be because I've been doing it for quite a while now and so I kind of know what I want to do. But if this is your first time, you might want to go ahead and start with one that you can just edit along the way and then it kind of helps you, you know, get those boundaries all set up and I don't know, it might just be easier for you to select it that way. But it's really your preference, whatever you feel like doing. Today... I'm gonna start with create a blank Facebook cover. This will also be able to help you know all of the different tools that I use on Canva and that might be super helpful. So once I have this um, template, the importance of knowing why I do it this way is because if you hit resize, it makes it the certain size that Facebook actually requires your banner to be instead of you having to guess later or trying to figure out the exact dimensions. This sets up the whole template ready for you to go. So today I'm going to show you my Facebook banner and what I'm going to be doing to update it so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So right now this is my Facebook banner. So I have it right here where it's clickable and I'm going to show you exactly how I made this and then how the clickable link actually works. So now that I'm showing you what I'm going through, this was great for a while but I really just feel like it's a little bit dull and I have the skills now to make it a little bit better so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so now that I'm back at this blank template, I'm going to find what kind of background I want. Now for me, I'm making it for my group, the Moms with Goals. So what I wanna do is I probably want to pick some photos. And so when I go over here, do you see how they have these like really cool backgrounds that you can use? I'm going to actually type in office. And then I find with this, you can get a lot of these like templates. You see what I mean? So I actually, I think the last time, I feel like this is one of my favorites, but the last time I did this, I think I typed in pink office. And once you do that, there these are like some great templates that I really love to use. They're really pretty and they go with my kind of theme that I have going. Um, so like, I really like this one. I think I've used it for some other stuff before. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for the template that I want See, this is my previous one, which is nice, but I don't know. Something about this glass just throws me off, so I want to get a different, brighter one. So something that you need to know when you are searching is this little toggle switch up here. This will actually filter them out for you, so if you're using the free version, you want to make sure that you select free. If you're doing the premium version, then you want to select this. Um, you can just do the ones that you can pay for. Or you, if you don't care which one because you have a free, or if you have a paid version, then you just don't need to really filter it. But if you're using this program for free, you want to click the free one, apply the filters, and then this way you're only using the banners that are being provided for free and you don't have to worry about getting charged later on at the end after you've already edited your picture. Okay, so once you find one that you like, you, what you can do is you can take this and you can drag it and it will fill automatically. So if you just click it, it will put it in the middle like that. But if you click and drag, it will fill it like that. So that's what I like to do because then it kind of just has everything ready to go for you. And then you can type in here when you're ready. So let's find a pretty one. Okay, I think I like this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this. Whoops. Okay. I like the brightness of the floral pattern over here, so I think that that's what I want to stick with. Now, if you wanted more of the picture that you see over here, what you can do is click this, 
and you can even drag this down. So say you wanted the laptop in the picture with the flowers, but you didn't really care about like the scissors and paper clips and stuff. You just click and drag and you will get part of the picture that you want. Do you see how that works? So that's really cool. I kind of like the laptop in the picture, so I think I'm going to stick with that. Now it comes for the words. You come over here and you click the text box and then it has many options for you to choose from. Again, now these are some of the different um, like presets that they have that you could choose from. Or what I like to do is just choose one of these, like this bolder one. And then I'm going to say a group four. And then I'm going to do a different box. Moms with goals. Okay, so now I have two separate text boxes. Now what the cool thing is, is once you click on these, you can click over here and there's like I don't even know, probably thousands of different texts that you can pick from, which again, so if you don't have the filters applied, when you are going to search, if you look over here, see how there's a crown on these? The crown ones are all the premium versions, so you would have to pay for these if you choose a crown. So while you're searching, just make sure you pick one that doesn't have a crown next to it, and then you'll be good to go. See how that changed it for me? All right, one of my favorite ones, I'm going to do it for this word, is apricots. Apricots, is apricots free? It does look like it's a free um, text, so a free font. So I love that. And so I do want to make this bigger, but I'm just going to, I have to fix this because I don't like school bell. Um, let's see. So now I'm going to search for something maybe a little bit more boxy. Mm. I also really like Monstrat. I don't even really know how to pronounce it, but Montserrat, Montserrat. I really like this font. Okay, so now when I have my writing, I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. And then I want to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, a group for moms with goals. So what I did in my first one is I had this little white box underneath it and I had like the light pink, which I really like. But this is all a very light pink kind of version and right now I kind of have the dark pink. So I think maybe I can try to match the font color. Let's see, do I like that? Mm. I think that that kind of goes better. And now what I want to do is I want to make this pop a little bit more. So I want to go to elements now. So once you have all your text ready to go, I'm going to go to elements. And this is where for me it gets really fun because there's so many different things that you could pick over here. You could just add like some, like say you wanted a heart. You can just add all these different things into these templates. For me right now, I'm going to look for, let me type in banner. Oh, not banner. Let me type in border. So now when I come over to the border, like they have this cool thing. Oh my gosh, I love it. So say like for me, I don't think I'm going to use this, but say I wanted to use this, but I, I would think I would rather it flipped. If you come over here and hit the flip button, you can hit, flip it horizontally, which would do nothing with this shape, or vertically, and then see how it kind of goes underneath better. Like that's that's cool. I like that. So it just flips your shape for you. Um, in different aspects of it, um, you'll be able to see some great things. Like watch even just, like say I wanted this, and instead of, you can use the toggle tool here to move it around, right? Or I could flip it vertically and so you see how it just moves for you like I don't know and then horizontally that's where you can really see the horizontal flip um, but you can also take this toggle slit switch and then you can move it however you want and then you can even change the color to be see how see what I mean like say if I wanted this in my corner and then I can bring it back and then it's like, oh, so cute. Now, if something happened and say I messed it up and I was like, oh, shoot, I accidentally pressed that. You can use this little button back here to hit back or it's the undo button. And then that will help you do that. And if you want to redo it, you just hit that triangle, uh, that little loop uh, arrow. All right. I'm not going to use this, though, so I'm going to delete it. But I just figured I'd show you that as we go. See, like this is really cute. So now say I wanted this border to be black. 
then I could take this, I can make it a little bit bigger. And now I have like a cute little border for my title here. I kind of like that. A group for moms with goals. So now this is what I want my audience to see. I want them to know. Now the thing is when you have Facebook, you have to keep in mind that this circle is here, right? So you don't want to put anything too low because otherwise your picture will take it over. So you want to keep that in mind. So that's why I keep referring back to this page. But see now on this page, how I have the clickable here, it says click here. I want to add that with this new one because I want people to be able to click here and get to my group, which I will be able to show you at the end how to make this clickable. But I want to add the button first. So I'm going to go back to my template. And now I want to make sure it's clickable. So what I'm going to do first is I want to be in elements button first. All right. So say this is the button I wanted to use. I'm going to go over here to the text. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to do this in all caps. Click here. And now this just will make it so it's not so long and it's easier to manage. So this little button here is the toggle switch to move it. And this one actually will move it across everywhere. You just hold down and click. So now, um, so here's my button. If I click this and hit shift and then click the square, it will group them now and now I can move them together instead of them being apart. So that's important to know. And now I want to get my arrows. Oh, what did I just do? Cancel. Okay. Okay. So now I want to get my arrows to point to it. So arrow. Now, see, I, I really like this one. Let's see. See, these ones I really like too. So I'm going to make this black. And then I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to bring it down if I could grab the right thing here. So I want to bring this down and now I can use the toggle switch to point to my button. And so now again, the horizontal flip tool is where it's really going to be important right here. I'm going to take this arrow and this is my other favorite button up here where the two pages are and it has a plus sign. See how it says duplicate? You're going to take that and click that. So now I have two arrows, the exact same size, the exact color I picked. Everything's ready to go, so I'm just going to duplicate it. So now I'm going to take this arrow and I'm going to flip it horizontally. Whoops, I'm going to flip it vertically. And then I have my other arrow over here. And I know that they're the same size and the same color. And it's just up to me really to place it in the same place. Okay, now I want to add the words to join. To join, click here. So I'm thinking about my head now for my group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this, group them together, and I'm going to move this over because I'm thinking about my little circle space over on Facebook and I don't want that to be in the way of anything. Okay, so now for me, this little spot here seems kind of empty and I just feel like I need to add some kind of element there. Um, so I don't even know. So because this area felt just a little like boring, I just went ahead and added some hearts. So it uh, jazzes it up a little bit and it just looks a little bit cuter. So now that I have everything, I feel like I need to line this up a little bit better first. All right. To join my group, you have to click here. So a group for moms with goals join to join click here. So now my banner is ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change my title to Facebook banner. I'm going to say 2021 because this is going to be my new banner and I'm going to hit enter and then it saves it as that title. Now I'm going to hit the download button. 
This is a suggested um, format that they want you to download it in, but you could do a JPEG, a standard, a print, an SVG. You could really make it anything that you want. So I'm just gonna pick PNG. Okay, so here we go, Facebook banner. Okay, so now this is gonna be in my downloads, but you can always move this to the spot that you want it to be in. So now I'm gonna go over to my Facebook page. You guys are gonna see me do it in real time. Okay, so guys, now that my banner is ready to go, I'm going to click on this to show you what it does. Ready? So when I click, click here, all I've done is I've made this over here the clickable link to join my group, Moms with Goals. So you see how it does that? So if someone clicks on your picture, they're going to be brought to the link right here. All it is is a picture description. So I'm going to show you how to do that when I change this out because... I'm obviously going to change this. So I'm actually going to click edit first and I'm going to make sure I copy this so that way I have it when I'm ready to go for the new banner. So now, yep, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to edit my cover photo and I'm going to select upload photo. And now I'm going to go to my downloads. There's my banner. I'm going to click open. And now I'm going to be able to see, okay, does everything look the way I want it to? Does it my picture get in the way of anything? Nope, everything looks fantastic. I really like it. I'm super excited. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, let me just show you that you can drag it a little bit. We use the proper sizing on Canva, so you really shouldn't have to drag it too much because you've done it properly already. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And now my banner is going to be updated. Perfect. So now in order to make this clickable, so when someone comes to my page and they want to say, oh, I want to join the group. I'm going to click on the picture and then over here for this edit button, I can add my description and put my link. Hit enter. I'm going to click paste, downloading my link there. I'm going to hit done editing. Make sure everything is clickable. Yep. It went right to my group still. I have a little description there and now when I go back to my main page, so I'm gonna exit out of here. Okay, so now if somebody comes to my page, they wanna join my group, they click the page, and then they bring, they're over here, and then they can be brought to my Facebook group page. Awesome, do you see how it can be clickable now? So, so awesome and exciting. So now I have a new Facebook banner. And that's how people do it. It's so easy. All right guys, isn't that awesome? A new clickable banner easily made on Canva. All right, guys, I hope that video was super helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, let me know, have you ever used Canva before or do you use another program? I'd love to see if there's something else out there that I could look into. I love Canva for so many other things. Like, like for an example, the thumbnail for this video, I made it on Canva. So that's another video that I can show you in the future is how to make thumbnails on canva.com. It is so easy, guys. Once you start playing with it, you really will get the feel for it and you can really make anything. The options really are endless. I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that red button down below, subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, it will notify you anytime that I make a new video. I'm so excited for you guys to join this channel and I hope to see you in the next one.